Hey everybody, welcome to Heat My Shorts. Hope you're all having a good day. <clears throat> Don't forget to hit that like button before we, before we get going, before you get too far into the video and forget, as I often do. Also before we get going, I want to wish two friends happy birthdays. First of all, Rigby W here in Kamloops, friend that I've known for years, high school, um, yeah like grade 8 or so. Um, never got super close with Rigby, but we grew up in the same, um, Maggie's growling, grew up in the same neighborhood in Kamloops here, and went to the same high school for a while, and quite a few mutual friends, mountain biker friends, seen each other around quite a bit, but it's Rigby's birthday today, so I hope you have an awesome day today, Rigby. Hope you've been having an awesome year, and I hope the rest of the year is good to you as well. Also, Joseph S., somebody that I don't know personally, but somebody that added me on Facebook, and it's your birthday today. Uh, Joseph lives down in Tennessee, USA, so we may never meet, but that's okay. We don't have to ever have met to be friends. Uh, I consider you a friend, Joseph, and I hope you have an awesome day today and an awesome year. Hope everyone has an awesome day today and an awesome year. Wouldn't that be great if everyone could have an awesome day and an awesome year? Wouldn't that be wonderful? Um, I guess we have to have bad days here and there to show us, to remind us what a good day is like, because if they were all good days, we wouldn't know bad day, and then the day, the good days wouldn't seem that good, right? I don't know. That's one way of looking at it, I suppose. But I try to take every bad day as a lesson, even. Sometimes that's tough to see the lesson in the day for sure, but that's okay. I'm having a good day today, and I plan on keeping it that way. I actually have kind of a busy day ahead of me today, so that's why I'm up early. Well, you might not know that. It'll be, you know, 8 a.m. by the time this video is up anyways, but um, it's nice to get that over and done with first thing in the morning. So anyways, let's get to our review here without further delay. This is... The second sauce in that Fuego box gift that showed up from my cousin Kat. This is a sauce from Los Angeles, California. This is from Sweet Heat Gourmet, and this is called Sinclair's Fatale Hot Sauce. Pretty cool label there. It's very simple, just a nice yellow background, some yellow Fatale peppers there. And some information and a small write-up there that I will read to you. Sinclair's Fatale Hot Sauce. With the perfect balance of heat and mild citrus flavor, Fatale peppers are featured in this fiery sauce that goes great on fish tacos, grilled shrimp. Ooh, I didn't look this word up. I didn't even notice it. Ceviche, caviche. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe that's quiche? No. C-E-V-I-C-H-E. -C -E. That is a new word to me. I'm going to be looking that one up as soon as we're done this video. Uh, quesadillas, eggs, and pizza. This sauce was named after Sinclair, an eight-year-old, who brought his homegrown Fatali peppers to Michelle years ago and asked her to make a hot sauce. That's really cool. So I don't imagine this sauce is made from Sinclair's peppers, but I believe this is Sinclair's recipe. Unless I'm mistaken. I don't know these people personally. I've never heard of this company even. This was just a part of that um, hot sauce subscription service that my cousin subscribed us to so kindly. Thank you so much for that, Kat. That's really cool. Um, show you the sauce here. It's got kind of a... Br orangish brown yellowish orangish brown yeah it's got a really neat color look at the size of that piece right there might not be able to yeah you can kind of pick it up it's a good sized piece of something in there so there's some good chunks in this sauce I can see some seeds some pulps some little flakes of things there um, they give it they rate it quite hot on their heat scale there SweetHeatGourmet.com is their website. Now, 
the ingredients list is quite small and a little hard for my eyes to read, so I did myself a little service there. <laughs> Blew it up and brightened it up on my phone here. So the ingredients are apple cider vinegar, fatali peppers, tomato paste, carrots, water, pure cane sugar, lime juice, salt, cumin, paprika, turmeric, ginger, and lemon zest. That's a really good sounding sauce. That's some, some really nice ingredients there. <laughs> Jostling about. I was actually trying to stand my phone up so that as I taste the sauce, I could still read that ingredients list, but it's gonna fall over, so I'm just not gonna bother. Let's open this up. Almost cut my finger there. <laughs> Had my finger a little too far forward, and this just scratched against my finger as it opened. <laughs> I've definitely seen people cut their fingers on review videos before, but so far we've been lucky on this channel. It'll happen. I've had a pretty pretty clean channel so far, I must say. I've had one nosebleed on a challenge, and I think that's about the worst of it. Um, had to edit out one curse word uh, on a live stream one time, but that wasn't too bad. But other than that, we've had a very clean channel. So let's give this a good shaky shake. Yeah, nice chunky consistency, but not super thick. It looks looks to be like a medium consistency. Medium to thick. Got that air bubble there. Hmm, I'm excited to, to try this out. Oh, that's neat. On the, uh, it says Fuego on the bottle there. That's a part of the product code or whatever. That's interesting. I guess maybe Fuego Box might print that on when they get to the factory, I'm not too sure. The boxing factory, I don't know how that works. I still don't really know very much about Fuego Box. I still haven't even worked on that hot sauce diary, to be honest. I should probably find out what that's all about. But anyways, let's open this up. Ooh, yeah. It's got a nice citrusy... Mmm. Citrusy vinegary, ginger. See, now I'm looking for the ingredients list again. <laughs> Definitely getting the vinegar. And that citrusy yellow pepper kind of a smell. And I want to say I'm getting some of that ginger. And I'm also getting some citrus, definitely, because of the lemon zest, the lime juice. But yeah, definitely vinegar. Yeah, definitely apple cider vinegar. Um, right. Getting ahead of myself here. So. <laughs> Maggie thinks she wants some hot sauce? I don't know, Maggie. I don't know about that one. Let's give this a pour. Ooh, yeah, thinner than I was expecting for sure. Well, that's not very much. There we go. That's a little better. Nice, nice consistency. Nice, chunky complexion consistency. You can see the light bouncing off the. Yeah, it's got a nice texture to it from what I can see, visual texture. So, from Sweet Heat Gourmet, this is Sinclair's Fatale Hot Sauce from Fuego Box. Heat my shorts. Very vinegar forward. Very vinegary. Almost too vinegary. I would say that's too vinegary almost, actually, yeah. Just basically reworded that same sentence. Good bit of sting to it. Citrusy, vinegary. Let's see, let's give that ingredient. 
options list to browse. Yeah, maybe a little bit of the tomato. Hmm. I wish it was a little bit less heavy on the on the apple cider vinegar. kind of remem reminds me of like candied peppers like cowboy candy or candied habaneros or however you'd like to call those it's kind of what it reminds me of so with that taken into consideration I don't to necessarily dislike this. I was leaning towards almost disliking it. Almost. Until I kind of made that connection. Um, it has very similar ingredients to candied hot peppers. From what I can remember, of course. I don't have that recipe memorized. Minus the tomato paste and the carrots. Which I'd say I am getting a little bit of the tomato paste. Not so much the carrots. The carrots are masked by those other ingredients. Maggie's very interested in this. That's that's funny. Um, pretty good little sting on that. It's early in the morning. First thing in the morning. Haven't had my tincture coffee this morning yet. But I'd say that put me to a... Let's say a 3 out of 10 on my heat scale, as of right now. Your average habanero eating chili head, you'd probably find this to be maybe a 4 or 5, maybe a 6 out of 10. Probably a 4 or 5 out of 10 for your average habanero eating chili head. If you're new or sensitive, to spicy foods, this will be hotter for you. You might find this to be hmm, seven or eight, maybe even a nine. Yeah, eight or a nine or a ten out of ten. No, it's hard to say a ten out of ten. Seven, eight, or a nine out of ten, we'll say. I don't really know what a ten out of ten is. I don't know if I've ever been to a ten out of ten, and I've I've been through some some intense burns. But it always seems to be a 9 out of 10. I always feel like I could take a little bit more. I guess a 10 out of 10 is when you when you fail your challenge. Or whatever is going on. You back out or hit the floor. <laughs> I don't know. Haven't got to that point yet. <laughs> One day. We'll keep trying, right? But yeah, this is a good sauce. Um, let's talk about... Parrots. Um, I'd say breakfasts. They mentioned fish. I'm going to read what they recommended there. Fish tacos. Yeah, tacos, quesadillas, eggs, pizza. I could have swore. Oh, yeah, right there. Grilled shrimp, the word that I don't know that I'm not going to try to pronounce again. Eggs, pizza. Yeah, totally, that kind of stuff. Um, this would be really good on sandwiches, hot dogs, burgers, breakfast sandwiches. I think especially breakfast sandwiches. I feel like this would be really good with breakfast stuff. Um, not quite a dessert sauce. Pastas, yeah, I'd say this would be good in pastas, rice dishes, eggs for sure, yeah, wraps, burritos, tacos, that, that kind of stuff. Definitely good on fish, I would say. Yeah, that's what I'd pair it with. <laughs> Just realized I had the hot sauce on my other shoulder. Got a little bit of sweat going on from that. 
little bit. Mm-hmm. Not bad. I don't know why the parrot's still out there. Parrot time's <laughs> over. <laughs> um, would I restock this? Maybe. Yeah, I would. I would restock this one. I'm... I'm not... We're not... I, I'd say we don't, don't need to keep a full, full bottle of this one in the fridge at all times, but I would restock this one. It's good. Um... My first impression would have been no. Honestly, yeah. At first I would I was a little bit disappointed, but the, the more I tasted it, it kind of grew on me the more I kind of became accustomed with it and, you know, got, a, got used to the flavors and got a feel for it. I like it. It's good. Would I recommend this one? Yeah. If you want a little bit of a heat, some if you, if you can handle a vinegar forward sauce. Keep in mind, it's like pickles. It's like pickled peppers. Sweet pickled peppers. Um, definitely vinegar, but some good burn, good citrusy flavors, great consistency, great texture. It's a good sauce. I really like this. Thank you very much for signing up for this Fuego Box subscription, cat. I see that our second one has now just shipped, and we've just finished reviewing the second sauce, so um, that worked out kind of perfect. Um, won't be a lot of down downtime in between the Fuego Box sauces. I suppose we should start a playlist for the Fuego Box sauces now. Um, yeah, this is awesome. Thank you so much, Kat. We love you. We really appreciate you. And uh, we should keep in better contact. I know we say that all the time, but maybe I'll shoot you a text today. Oh, it's a pretty busy day. I'll try to. <laughs> if you see this, text me. <laughs> um... SweetHeatGourmet.com is the website for Sweet Heat Gourmet. <laughs> um, based on this first sauce, I highly recommend checking it out. Um, like I said, it's, it's vinegar forward, but I like it. I'm not usually one to really like a, a vinegar forward sauce, but if it's well balanced with other things, it's good. And I think we can definitely find more uses for this sauce than what I've just said there. I mean, I guess I listed quite a few, quite a variety there, but kind of the usual variety too, isn't it? Oh well, I'm not that creative. I'm not that, you know, diverse with my <laughs> types of meals and things that I'm used to. I don't know. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not, maybe I'm just not using my imagination enough. It's early in the morning. But anyways, Maggie's kind of pouting. She looks sad. Let's tilt down. And have a little Maggie hangout. Yeah. There she is. Actually, maybe just a bit more. Just us here. The whole world needs to make me time now. Yeah. You're such a good girl. You're such a good girl, Maggie. Yes. Aww. Aww. Can I have a high five? Good girl. Good girl, Maggie. Yes. What a good doggy. solid there. Uh, I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> I brought Grogu. <laughs> it's actually a teddy bear, but I borrowed him. <laughs> Sweetie Short said I could. I asked. It's hers. It's actually hers. <laughs> but anyways, go back to this one more time. Sinclair's Fatali Hot Sauce from Sweet Heat Gourmet. 
Yeah, I like it. Took me a little bit of getting used to, I will admit, because it is very, very vinegary, but that's okay. Nothing wrong with a little vinegar, right? I dig it. Hopefully we can try some more of their sauces. I've never heard of them and I've never seen them around, but now I will be keeping an eye out for that company name. So I guess we'll wrap this video up here. It's a 20 minute video now. These videos seem to be getting longer. My camera is horribly crooked. That's a little better. <laughs> a little better. Um, yeah, hope you all have an awesome day today. I plan on having a good day. It's going to be busy, but it's going to be a good day. Um, I haven't thought about any sort of a... Okay, I know what I'll do here. In this corner, I'm going to leave our Heat My Shorts logo. And in this corner, the Capsaicin Clinic. Go check out Justin's channel. He's awesome. It's a great channel. And up here, two relevant playlists for you to enjoy. Have a great day. I love you all. We will hang out again soon, I promise. This has been Heat My Shorts with Maggie and Steve, The Maggie Show. Bye-bye.